Hello and welcome to this tech news. Five key news that you can't miss this week. The first one is about a project of the largest data center in the world. Second topic is how do the AI platforms compare in school tests? Number three, how fast food chains are using AI. We will also talk about Apple that is leveraging AI to make Siri conversations more natural. And finally, we'll get a glimpse into how AI is being used at Cream Seeds. Let's talk first about Microsoft and OpenAI that are set to redefine supercomputing with the 100 billion US dollar data center venture that is named Stargate. Comprising millions of AI chips, they are aiming for a 2028 launch. This initiative is around 100 times bigger than a typical data center, signaling a seismic shift in computational capacities. With power, demands that is reaching new levels in gigawatts, exploration of alternatives energy like uh, nuclear power becomes uh, an imperative. Stargate represents the pinnacle of a six-year supercomputing roadmap, preceding a smaller four-phase counterpart for OpenAI by 2026. But let's see if things really do slow down or actually speed up as both parties are committed to pushing the boundaries of AI-driven innovation in computing infrastructure. Elon Musk's AI venture has raised the stakes uh, with the launch of Grok 1.5, a cutting-edge generative AI model. This time, it boasts enhanced mathematical and reasoning capabilities scheduled for release on Musk's social media platform X uh, next week. Grok 1.5 promises a leap forward in performance. It outshines its pre predecessor Grok 1 by a significant margin. Despite trailing in certain tests like high school math, it surpasses competitors like Cloud 2, like Gemini Pro 1.5, like GPT-4 in various uh, problem-solving metrics. Grok 1.5's capability to process extensive context up to 128,000 tokens sets it apart. Uh, hinting at even greater ad advancements with Rock 2 on the horizon, for which uh, Elon Musk says will be will be even better than GPT-5. As we all know, this is just the beginning, but expect to see a lot more high school test comparison amongst the main product players over the coming months. Let's talk about Yum Brands. Yum is the parent company of Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, KFC, all those brands that you know we know very well. And it is doubling down on AI and automation strategies to streamline operation and drive revenue profits. And this is according to the Wall Street Journal. The company is exploring various AI applications, including generative AI in its mobile app for managers or voice AI for drive through orders. Additionally, Yum Brand has integrated AI into its super app for employee support, and it is leveraging AI to optimize supply orders, menu offering, and personalized customer offers. Last year, the company significantly ramped up investments in digital and tech capabilities, reflecting a commitment to innovation. This move aligns with a whole range of industry trends, from the significant rises in minimum wages, labor shortages, and the actual capabilities of automation, robotics, and AI. While the food industry is very visible to all of us, uh, it is a good way of seeing changes that are really taking place in multiple industries in our daily lives. Let's talk about Apple that is looking at how to make Siri better at talking to us. And that starts with being able to recognize what is actually on the screen. Dubbed Realm for reference resolution as language modeling, it interprets contexts for smoother integration with large language models. So Realm also helps Siri understand what's on your screen, making it easier for us to interact with her. Uh, even the smaller real models are meant to be as good as OpenAI's GPT-4, but with fewer settings. So which means they are more effective on portable devices. Uh, the Apple researchers acknowledge that handling complicated visual information, like telling the difference between many pictures, would likely need a combination of computer vision technology and different types of artificial intelligence techniques altogether. And that's really what we are going to see a lot more of. AI taking inputs from multiple sources and doing its analysis from there. Finally, 
let's have a look at how AI is being brought into crime investigations. AI's integration into real-time crime centers re revolutionizes law enforcement by processing a vast amount of data uh, in real time. So pattern recognition aids in identifying crime trends, hotspots, uh, guiding resource allocation for police. Uh, image analysis swiftly detects uh, anomalies, aiding crime prediction. Predictive analytics forecasts criminal activities, enhancing efficiency while mitigating biases. Uh, natural language processing deciphers sentiments and top and topics, while anomaly detection flags abnormal data points. The data fusion combines all the sources for comprehensive insights. In a hypothetical scenario, AI enables rapid response to incidents, utilizing social media posts, surveillance camera, uh, and predictive analysis for informed decision making. So as AI advances, it promises a transformative future for policing, integrating responsible AI dashboards, real-time wellness, and global networks all together. So not quite minority report, but not far off from it, and especially integrating a humanity aspect and, and an aspect of privacy respect that is, that is necessary. Thanks for watching this news and see you next week.